then right after Harry Potter, we went over to Transformers. So we're both just like so fucking stuffed to the gills full. And then the air conditioners broke. We're sitting in the way back. We're like, oh, this is going to die. I'm, we, maybe we should go. Malcolm went out and complained three times. They're like, it's fucking broke, eh? We can't do anything. And Malcolm's almost getting to the point of like, you better come in and blow on us through ice because otherwise we're leaving. And, and we wound up sticking around. It, I just found it so fucking boring. Like, there was not a piece of it that really intrigued there's one, me. No, there's one, the, the fucking, the robot in the scat games, the ping robot is kind of funny. That was the only thing where I was just like, I, I didn't find it funny as much as random. I was like, who the fucking okayed that? Like, how'd that sneak through? Like, the robot pissing I, on someone? I was stunned when I saw that. I was. How did your kids react to it? Were they like, I don't ah, even ah, know ah. if she knew it was urine. <laughs> I don't even think she realized that that was a robot peeing. I, I, I didn't go into, like, I didn't ask her later on. She didn't put on. two and two together where it's like it's coming from the robot's legs, crotch area. I don't think so. I, I, I mean, I could be wrong, yeah, but, you know. You didn't sit him down like the underdog discussion? No. Be like, listen, it's not right to pee on people even when you're mad. But what about the um, the masturbating scene, too? I don't know. You, like you and Johnson, man, you can tell you and Johnson and, and were Transformers. raised together and were very tight for very many, many years. Because Johnson, when I saw him, said the same exact thing. He was just like, that that masturbation scene really, he's going, I didn't like the movie, but that really killed it for me. He's going, why is that necessary? And I was like, were you like all put off by it, by you were offended? He's going, it was just so fucking out of place. Oh, I wasn't offended, but I was like, it was so, so much a kid's movie mm -hmm. that only a kid could enjoy this or an idiot. I, I, and, um, <laughs> and I was just like, you know, we're watching it and there's a lot of people with their kids there. Mm hmm myself included and all of a sudden they start to bring in this like are you know are you jerking off um i i thought it was so out of place um i just hated the movie though i just found it really it wasn't i, I was not a fan of the cartoon and, and not even like i wasn't a fan like i hate this cartoon i was just not into it i didn't watch it and so when i sat there watching the movie i saw the trailer in advance i was like that looks fucking balls man that looks awesome like giant robots beating the shit out of each other and I've said many times they didn't even need to have a plot they could have just empty frame roll a truck into it watch it wah, 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 and turn into a robot and walk off and that would have been enough for me 15 minutes of a series of cars turning into shit so Rock'em so rock Sock'em Robots the movie would be more here. if it was 15 minutes long I think most of these special effects extravaganzas they don't need these threadbare plots to begin with like I said it years ago about Twister I would have enjoyed Twister so much more if it was just 15 minutes of fucked up Twisters with people cows. running. From yes, people <laughs> running and shit it's like coming, that. It's coming. Not like, that's not that the shit in between with like the black SUVs and the guys like he's not in it for the science. Like you know, just like don't need it. Just want to see them like do a special effects cook off reel. Like lots of cool special effects. Transformers for me could have been 15 minutes long. Would have been so much more enjoyable. And everybody still would have went. Like I don't think people would have been like. I paid nine bucks. It's only fifteen minutes. I think people would have fought. You can make a movie like a, like that, a half an hour long. I don't think you'd ever get a complaint out of an audience. Would you complain? Would you bitch if a movie like uh, like Transformers a half hour um, long? Well, if they left well, out all the be, masturbation, well, it better be talk. half the price then too to get in. No, they get, they're going to charge the full thing. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go to see a movie if it was only a half hour long. <laughs> what if you didn't know, but you found out like suddenly the credits rolled and you were like, "That was quick," and you looked at your watch, it was only half an hour. If it was the only time, I mean, if that was just one in a you know, one movie out of the whole summer movies, I would be like, wow, that's ballsy that they fucking put out a half-hour movie. Would you, would you and respect like, it more? Yeah, I'd respect it. Then. <laughs> but would it, in the future, then, would you like look at the timetable in the newspaper yeah, whenever you're thinking? Attention. Yeah, you're like, oh, I could better look now. It's my responsibility. You should have seen the um, the reactions or the... Um, I'm definitely, and you, we're minorities here because uh, people coming into the stash... Mm -hmm were uh, cum stained with fucking <laughs> joy. I mean, they were so happy and so elated after seeing that movie. They would come in and be like, did you see Transformers? They'd be like, yeah, I saw it. Whoa, what'd you think? And I was like, oh, I, I thought it was terrible. And they, and they would get defensive <laughs> and um, take a stance of like as if they made it. Well, and what do you know? You just run a comic book store. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I swear, I, I mean, I could be wrong, but I thought I saw a, a flash of t tearing up in one guy. as <laughs> uh, When I said it, he was so upset with my dismissal of the movie. Um, How old? 20s. <laughs> could um, you imagine getting that upset? He was angry. Somebody tells you they don't like a movie that you like. Do you have any reaction? Uh, uh, no, none at all. <laughs> I mean, none at all. I would especially, um, I mean, he was just like... When I told him that I thought it was uh, it was it was moronic, and he was just like, 
I saw it four times. How, how moronic could it be? <laughs> You're like, well, <laughs> well, the movie's moronic, and you are super moronic. And then I have to, then I have to like go. I have to like. You know, I don't want to let this guy to just storm out in a huff and not buy anything. The so I'm coming like, up to the counter with a statue, and he's like, "What do you think of Transformers?" And you're looking at the statue. So I had to make the excuse. I'm like, "But you know what? You know, I think it's. I didn't grow up with this with this show. I think people who grow up with it are a little bit more more forgiving of the um, some of the silly aspects of it. I have no love for it, no affection, and I think I'm a little bit harsher critic. And that kind of like smooths it over, and then they kind of walk away, not not with so tense and so upset with me. And it's like, you look at the movie, and I'm not like, oh, it sucks, it's poorly made and shit. It's obviously a very well-made movie. Michael Bay certainly knows how to shoot action and shit, but, I, you know, just wasn't my cup of tea. I paid, I put my two bits down and shit, but just wasn't for me. And if there was another one, I think I'd fucking watch it on DVD or something like that. But for some people, it was the movie they've been waiting their whole lives for. And, I mean, I said there was a cat who hangs out on our board name Omega and he's been there since like the beginning and he named himself after you know fucking Transformers character I believe I think um, and he he was like when I wrote Clerks 2 I was always thinking about that dude because he was always forever since like we opened the board in 1996 95, 96 that dude was always like you gotta get a Transformers reference into your movies and I was like <laughs> dude I was not a Transformers guy so like you know it's 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 easy for me to reference Star Wars because that was part of my, you know, pop cultural uh, growth, and and like that that was I was dialed in on Star Wars. I was seven when it came out as a Transformers never, and then I found a way to do it through the Elias character. So I saw him last night, and I was like, "You see Transformers?" And he was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Not good." He's like, "No, just." Missed it. Just completely missed it. I was like, but I bet you enjoyed hearing names like Starstrike and shit. He's like, that was very cool. He was disappointed with it. Very disappointed. Very wow. disappointed. He was the dude on the website said, we are getting a, a, a new, tr we are getting a Transformers movie, but at what a price. Oh <laughs> Which is a God. great quote where you're like, <laughs> yes, indeed a very high price. But he was, uh, about of the people that came in and talked about Transformers, did you, what was the percentage of people that were pro versus con? Ninety nine. Uh, I was the only one who didn't like it. You were the only. Guy. I was the only one who didn't like it. Who people who talked about it, who came and, in. And here. was there high expectation that you would like it? Like that's why they brought it up to you. Or were these regulars, or were these people that regular? I mean, regulars. I would never. When if they came in, if it was a regular customer, and were like, "Did you see Transformers? How awesome was that?" I'd be like, "Hey, I did see it. It was it was really cool." I wasn't. I wasn't going <laughs> to. I was not going to get into it. You want to put off some long-term. Yeah. Long it wasn't worth base. it to get into it. I, it's just easier to be like, yeah, it was. It was really cool. But if it was somebody I didn't know before, and they came in and they and they left it open, that like, what'd you think? And I had to go either way. I just was honest. Um, what happens? All right. So there's a long-term customer who you, you said, yeah, it was it was good. And then here's this. And then comes in and puts they you on the spot where they're like, "Why did you lie to me, man?" I'm telling you, here's the truth. I just—it was just easier to, to just be like, "Yeah, it was really good." He's like, "Well, it's easier for me to go to Comics Plus down the street." Goodbye. I don't like to be lied to. I mean, think about all the care that went. I mean, the thought that went into it. I didn't want to offend you. I just want you to have a good time. I don't want you coming in here going like we're going to get into it. No, you just want my money, Flanagan. That's it. You just lied to me for my money. You raped me. And That's a white out. lie. A white lie? Yeah. Nothing bad comes from Nothing it? Nothing bad. Only good comes out of that. Everyone's happy with it. Unless he leaves the store and he's talking to friends who don't like it. And he's like, look, Walter Flanagan likes that movie. So uh, Walter Flanagan is a, a man of class and taste and whatnot. And then they're like, hey, man, I heard Smod case. <laughs> Walter Flanagan, <laughs> he thinks you're an idiot, a moron. <laughs> a moronic. He said some dude saw four times. Um, do you do you back up? Like, do you do you go back even further and and kind of get deeper into the lie? Where you're like, I just lied on Smodcast because that's just a show for entertainment. Kevin wrote the script. The, script, <laughs> the whole thing. 